guys welcome back to our channel hi guys in today's episode we want to show you guys how we do the item sorter filter item filter i was gonna say that and then i thought no that <laughs> doesn't sound right <laughs> <laughs> okay so you guys will see a bit of work has been done we've laid in the input lines everywhere yes this this section input line with, with the furnaces on top the furnaces as we discussed before is just to reduce some lag because we use so much hoppers in this uh, base we just need to try and reduce lag wherever we can and that's one place where we're going to try and later on we'll do on these input lines as well so uh last week uh, the last three episodes we actually built the three different item storage systems so this one is the medium we built the, the large large one and then we built the, the last episode the small ones yeah so that's just the storage system now we need to do sort them um so what the sorting will do is you will have an input chest and everything will sort automatically into a de dedicated uh chests so how are we going to do this this line this upper line on top here is the input line this is where all the items will travel through from the input input chest and these this hopper lines here is actually going into the so the storage system so we're going to build the the filter right at the back so we can, what we're going to do remember i using half slabs for my redstone you can use solid blocks can i do it yeah was i, was I build one here as well or you My wife is very proud, she's building redstone. Am I enough? Yep. I'm just gonna put a slab down before I So the first thing is we built this little T uh, like this. Then we uh, need to break this block out. Okay. And it's taking you so long. I'm sorry, I'm still explaining. No, Thank you, actually. <laughs> <laughs> and then you build these two sections at the, at the back. So, how this is going to work is we're going to place a comparator right here on this that section there. Uh, I'm just going to steal two hoppers here quickly because I didn't bring enough. Oh, sure, but now you say we need hoppers. Why? I don't have either. Oh, that's why it's just two, two, two hoppers. And there's one for you. Okay. So, where I steal the hoppers is we actually need to get on that side. So, this hopper. Gotta get up there. So this hopper is going to be the filter that I'm going to place. This hopper cannot face down or to the side. It has to face either to into the comparator or away from the comparator. Please do not put this down, otherwise it will not work. So you can shift click on the comparator, place it. So that's going to be the filter. We'll set up the filter just now. We must just first build the circuit to open and close the filter. So, how the circuit is going to work is this comparator is gonna look for the signal that this hopper pushes out. It's gonna send the signal down this redstone. Wait for mystery we now can going to increase the strength of the signal with the repeater the bottom there and we're going to run that that the repeater is going to power this, this block which is going to put this this torch on or off which is going to put power this block on or off so 
which means currently this block is locked that this this hopper is locked it will not suck anything out okay as soon as a, a item comes in this first hopper that the comparator recognize it will send the sixth signal through it will switch this uh rest and torch off which will open up this um hopper and the items will go through now the one thing with this, this items is a sorting system is you need to find an item that you're not going to sort it's preferably a 64 stackable item to build the, this filter so that makes it sometimes very difficult because if you throw that item in the system it can break the item uh, the, the, whole, the whole system so what I normally do is I'm just gonna go down to the anvil is I normally take something like sticks which is quite cheap to make and I just uh, rename something like sorting sticks I can't spell this morning sorting sticks and please do not let that sticks get into the system. It will break the system. There's some sorting sticks for you, my love. And we're gonna go back. Where are they? I'm throwing you. I think you already picked them up. Uh, oh, in the in the mind, yeah. Uh, it's trying not to end up in a wall. No, oh, was all really close to the wall. <laughs> okay. So now. We're going to set up this filter. So we're going to use this, the sorting sticks. Well, you, how many stone slabs you got? Uh, quite a bit, well. Okay. So we, I'm first going to drop a stack of stone slabs in. And I'm going to drag a uh, sorting stick in one, one in each of the, the four remaining slots. Okay, so are we talking about the hopper yeah, in front the of the comparator? So I open it. So right click on the. On, on. And I place how many sticks in? So fir first, throw a stack of the item that you're going to th uh, sort. So So the stone slabs. Yeah. yeah. And then one sorting stick on the remaining four, four items. <laughs> Got it? Yeah, I'm probably doing it the long way around, but anyway. So four item sticks in one slab stack. Yeah. Okay. And now you see the slabs uh, stack will go down. Yeah. And will stop in 41. Okay. So now this is... The, the filter is now set up. So if I place some stone slabs in this thing, you'll see it will go up and down. 41, 42, 41, 42, 42. So what it means is... Is now coming through this upper line, so it's actually going into the chest. But now, 41 items is quite a bit of items, especially if you use something like gas stairs. I mean, 41 is your entire stock, so you don't want to use 41 items just to set, set up the filter. So, what you can do is you can increase the number of sorting sticks at the back if you put three in. In each slot you will see it will go down to 33 if you place four in it will go down to 29 so you can use like i use the sticks for my sorting uh items to reduce the amount of uh, uh, items we need to build the filter mine's gone down to 33 because you've got f three three sticks in yeah if you put five in Twenty-five. Twenty-five. So if you increase that, you will see that amount will go down. So that's one way of reducing the amount of the items you need in, in your filter. Does this make sense? Understandable? Yeah. So this is now one module. So at each of these 
units we're gonna build as mysteries build one here as well this is what what we're gonna do we're gonna build one at each mo module uh the same for the um mass storage system as well this is gonna be the same module now what's going what's nice about this little uh design i think this was originally designed by tango tech or impulse i can't remember i'm not sure man. because um this is styleable as well so we've already done this in the single story system and we're going to show you guys that now quickly so we've already done it that. down here so now i must just first show my screw up so originally this this item uh, sorting system was supposed to sit right around about here but when i designed it the this chest was sitting one block down and as we were building this it looked crap and i've moved the chest one block up without thinking what's they're doing in the back so what they're doing in the, in the back now is on this sections here where the top hoppers are running jump up again that with these these hoppers are running these hoppers are going to be straight underneath these and will actually suck the items out of this hopper line which we don't want so instead of breaking everything down because what what it meant that we had to do was break the whole this whole system one block down and i was not going to do that it was just it was just too much work so instead of doing that uh it's quite a costly uh, mistake we had to move this drop drop it down one and move this whole system back here which yeah is quite quite expensive thing because now we we didn't we didn't have space for the hopper line to run for the the input line to run down here so we had to move the whole input line to the back here and move the whole thing back so yeah it's costing us quite a lot of, lot of hoppers thanks to our own form <laughs> yeah but yeah thank you for we're not feeling it that bad yeah but that's it. we're feeding on it on, on wood so yeah Thanks to our iron farm, we don't feel it too much, but we definitely feel it on wood. Um, and we still need to make a, quite a bit of about 3,000 shocker boxes to fill in the system. We will definitely have to look at the tree farm or something. Okay. And so the reason why these four is not done is um, we originally were, were going to have one, one section being uns unsortable items like armor and uh, tools and stuff but because of my little screw up um we had to find, find another way so we need 24 slots that is uh, unsortable which we now make the the first four in every wing so these four this side this four this side would be unsortable so that's eight per per wing so that's 24 um so hopefully that that will sort out that problem so our next step is to actually do the input side of it. Uh, we need to go to the top. I think it was this side. Oh, no. Back again. Go. Do you want to come to the top, my love? I'm not going to make it. How's that? Throw another one. I'm stuck in the friggin'. There we go. Um, as we find where I've done, to follow that line quickly. Uh, and everyone's been asking asking me what is this? This is just markers for, for because everything is so symmetrical. I can't remember what I've done in which wing. So it's just markers for me what what has been done in, in each each of the wings. So that will come down. But yeah. Okay, you guys can see we've already done the the structures in here. We haven't placed the, the actual filters in yet. So that chest day is the beginning of the input line. So that that's where everything will start, and this is the end of the top 
top section they, they will go down so this is where the items need to go in for the first time so I think let's try to think where it's gonna be the best way to place an item filter but well, can we get through there but then that is going to stop it uh, we've got some plans for in days so I don't so maybe if we dig down here love we make the item filter in this blocks one two three yeah so I think let's get this down all the way to bottom so we've cut this cut this out quite roughly um we're gonna drop this down by two the reason for that is is we can have multiple input sections in our storage area and they will all join up with this item elevator here so i'm going to place the glass in here and this is the We've built this before. Drop it down. And hop a line into it. Hop it goes straight in there. There in there. And for now, just for temporary, we'll place a chest on this section here. Remember this will now link up to wherever we place our final um positioning for our input chest we're gonna build the same little circus circuit that we've been building all along give me some space here redstone with the comparator comparator into a repeater into a block block and we need a solid block on this side the repeater in it and some redstone now remember that, so while we are going to fix this and make this look neat so remember as soon as there's an item in here now anyone in that will go in and, and that will dispense but there's one item there's there's, there's now all stack in there but it only, will only click once so we need to let this burn out so we're gonna run an another redstone line from this block today and now it will keep clicking so same same circuit we've been building whole time on our server so far but I don't understand there's multiple videos about it you guys can go and look I just want to clean this up properly quickly well before we go on and then we're gonna build this glass up you, you coming with love yeah up. you're not pulled it here as well uh, yeah no, I'm waiting for you to jump there because you can jump on, jump on there and we can fold this, fold this in the turn turn and let's say this section and oh no, throw my sword out okay. I'm just going to place end rods like that so we can see the items going up. But like every five, we'll place an end rod. This is solid, solid, solid. It has to be solid. Those two. Third one. The five in between. Place end rod. Turn. Now I need to get upper line 
Ya. Brandes Hoppeloint. Cover this with sauce. Okay. Get out there. Hunt. Just, just move, move out of the way. Yeah. Walk on the on upper line. Walk more. Give me two seconds. Oh, you. Oh, it is. I, I don't know. And then I'm just gonna fold this in with. Oh, it's supposed to be another. I go place something in the. Place some stone slabs in in that chest at the bottom. The bottom of this atom. Yeah, at the chest. At the chest. I'm gonna put star out in. Then you have stone slabs. Click, 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 click. And there we see the items start coming up. And they will go into this system here. Let's go to where do we build the, the second floor? Huh? Let's go to where we built a item filter. We're waiting for that thing to flash. If you want to keep, keep an eye on the filter, filter, filter system, the item gets there, they will start flashing. Okay, so as we see, the items has arrived. And you guys can now see this one is flashing. And on and off, on and off, on and off. All these are all the stone slabs. We'll go down this line now, and if we go to the front. And there's the stone slabs arriving. Here we go. That's the one. As soon as you place shocker boxes in here, that's our items will go to shocker boxes. When the shocker box is full, be broken and will be stored. There, where all the junk is currently. What we still have to do is we have to go through this whole system and clean up all the chests because a lot of things has been falling into the shop, into the hoppers, and you can see all the boxes are full of crap. But yeah, that's the filter in, filter in, and uh, I think air elevator in. Cool. So, uh, just have to finish off all the filters. And then we'll start allocating what goes where. Um, we'll do that off camera before our next episode. And then maybe in the next episode we can look at the tree farm. Yeah, Cause, maybe. Cause we're gonna need. We need three, three and a half thousand shocker boxes to fill all of these shocker boxes chests. So we need, we need three and a half thousand chests, which is, wow. which is eight, <laughs> eight, which is eight wooden planks each. Mm. That's quite a bit. Well, guys, if you look forward to seeing that in the next episode, <laughs> we hope we see you then. <laughs> like, subscribe, share with friends on social media, and see you guys in the next episode. Thanks, guys. Thanks, guys. Bye. Bye.